to start uh, Carter Hart next week. And has Wade officially been cleared to play? Yes. So have you decided to use your call up for Tyson? If Allie plays, and so yeah, we'll, once Allie goes in, which we, unless anything happens today, it'll be our first call up. John, uh, Travis Sandheim scored a goal last game. It kind of came off a fluky bounce, but he was definitely trying to make something happen offensively. Do you feel like that can maybe be a kickstarter for him? Any, any guy, when you're looking for offense out of, no matter how the goal scored, off his ass, whatever it may be, always helps. And uh, yeah, so we're we're looking for anything for him to gain traction. You said you wanted to see him adopt a little bit more of an aggressive mindset. He acknowledged that's not going to happen overnight. But how have you and Brad Shaw been working with him to try to instill that? Daily, yeah. And Shazi's doing a lot of work with him, a lot of tape. Um, hasn't come to the forefront consistently enough, but. Uh, we, we think we can get this turned around. Now, when it happens, I, I, I can't forecast that. I'm going to keep on trying. Is it import, like, how important is it for him to have something to build off of going into the summer? I mean, I, he might not necessarily turn it around entirely mm -hmm. and be playing his best hockey going mm -hmm. into the summer, but just to have some, something to build off yeah, of. Yeah, I, I, I think it's been a struggle. Uh, I think he has said that too a little bit. And um, Good guy, very coachable. Uh, all the stuff. It, it, it's not a, uh, a stubborn guy. It, it, it just has not gone uh, the way that we would and he would like this year. So anything that can happen uh, in, in the next month here or a few weeks that makes him feel better about his game, it's important. Um, so we're going to keep putting him in the situations. We're going to keep on uh, coaching. Uh, and, and see if we can get some sort of traction before the season's over. John, Cam's back in town. He's around the team, I would assume, a little bit more. Sean's practicing. He's around a little, the team a little bit more. As you kind of bring these young guys up, how can you as a coaching staff kind of use their veteran experience to, you know, almost as a secondary coach in the room or just to kind of help those young guys learn? How can you sort of utilize their veteran knowledge? Yeah, well, you know, right now with the situation they're in, uh, they need to be concerned about themselves. I, I, I'm not going to lean on Coots or Cam. Uh, Coots is in the meetings now. He, he's, he's stepping into the meetings now as he's, as he's beginning to practice with us. Cam's doing stuff all uh, basically off ice. Uh, on ice, I think, will come before the year, before the year ends. But to use them in that situation, not going to happen. Uh, um, next year, as things get sorted out, and hopefully they're healthy and all that, Sure, they can, they're going to be able to mentor kids. But right now, we want them to be worried about themselves as far as just getting themselves as healthy as possible as we're going through the next month. Uh, TK obviously has been skating for the last little bit. He's on the ice today for more to skate, obviously with the non-contact jersey. But in terms of the progress he's made, does it look like he'll be able to return before the end of the year, or are you not sure yet? I'm not sure. Yeah, I know TK feels it. He wants to. Uh, same thing as I talk with Coots. I, haven't haven't really talked too much uh, uh, to Tommy about TK. More on Coots right now because I, I think Coots is probably closer. Um, but I am uh, I am leaving up to medical staff uh, come to come to me. I, I I don't go to the medical medical staff every morning. I, I don't. I'm not looking for percentages. I'm not looking for dates. I'm looking for them to come to me when, when they're ready to tell me that he's ready to go. And then we'll make a decision. And same thing with TK. Is, is it worth it? Uh, depending on what, what time of year it is at that point in time, if it does come, those are conversations we'll have with him. When same you, way as Coots. Sorry, when you do talk about is it worth it, I know you said like when you think about Trey, you think about next year. With TK, just because of like the ups and downs he's had through his career and this is the season he's finding his footing, is that a little bit different where this could help him stay on track to get yeah, th this was an injured player. It, it wasn't like Coots two back operations and hasn't played. And uh, uh, TK was having a hell of a year. Uh, uh, I, I think if, if the medical staff clears him, it's going to be very tough for me to keep him out of the lineup. I just don't know if he gets cleared in time. Uh, we're running out of games, running out of time. But it's a, to me, he's a little bit different. Uh, uh, I, I think our medical staff has done a terrific job with these three guys and where you have athletes that want to go now and wanted it yesterday, 
I, I think they've grinded with these guys. They've had to grind with them, make sure they do it right. And uh, so when they tell me TK is ready to play, uh, I, I think it's going to be pretty tough for me to keep him out of the lineup. John, going back to you just mentioned about, you know, medical staff's done a good job of grinding away with these guys. These guys want to come back. I know you weren't here last year, but and there were a lot of changes made to the, the medical department, the approach. But last season, there were some guys who later admitted they came back too early. Mm -hmm. Do you think that organizationally, because of that, there's maybe more caution to not repeat those mistakes? No, no. I, I, I look at it this way. I, I, I think there's a, uh, I think there's a huge scab on this organization with the medical situation that was prior. Uh, all, all the things, I mean, from I was hired June 16th, that was the number one thing in my mind going on here. How are we going to get this straightened out as far as making sure they are more confident uh, as far as how they're being treated? Uh, I, I don't think it's uh, more cautious. I think it's just doing it the right way. And, uh, and, and I, I didn't realize it when I took the job how long some of the medical problems and, and how things were being handled, how long. It's been going on for years here. And it's, it's not criticizing any one person, but it's been a mess. And, it, and it's still something that's on one of our main burners to continue to get better. I, I think we have stabilized it. I think Tommy and his staff have have done a fantastic job in stabilizing things and communicating the proper way and not jumping into operations and situations that I think happened here. But we still need to get better. So it, uh, I, I'm glad you asked the question because I, I think it's a huge part of, of stabilizing this organization. Some of the things, forget about on ice, some of the things off the ice, we have spent a lot of time trying to stabilize this year, and I think we're on the right track there, that being one of them. So, um, yeah, players are stubborn. They're, they're a pain in the ass when it comes to this, and that's why they're such great athletes. Tommy has done a really good job in tamping it down and, uh, and having some pretty, uh, pretty scrutinized conversations with these guys to make sure they understand. So I'm, I'm, I'm really happy how things have gone that way. Three important guys here, Cam, uh, Coots, and, and TK, and, and they're as stubborn as they come. John, just to clarify, you said the hope is Cam maybe could skate with you guys before the end of the season? I, I don't think it would be skate with us. I, I, think he, I, think, I think Cam wants to get on the ice. You know, it, it's been a – this is their livelihood. I, I, uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't want to get ahead of myself. I talked to Cam yesterday, and I know he's progressing. Is he impatient? You're goddamn right he is. Uh, uh, but whether it goes on the ice or is it just one-on-one -on -one with Angelo and doing some skills and all that before the season's over, I'm not sure where it goes. Just, John, just to clarify, going back to the medical staff, when you say that players are stubborn, do you feel like the players were had too much control over kind of their situation? Or, or like no, no, see, I, I wasn't here when all the things were going on. I, I just know it, it's been a history of uh, – History of uh, I, I, the history that's gone on here has brought in a lack of confidence from the players as far as how they're being handled, and it's not one particular person. I, I'm not blaming on one particular person. It's just it's gone on for years here, and, and I think it's eroded the confidence of players. That's the number one thing that, and I think Barry and Chuck, Barry and Chuck put so much time into trying to get this straightened out. Ian comes in here, he's worked his ass off to get this straightened out. I think we're finally stabilizing it. Where are the players happy that it may take a little bit longer sometimes? They're never players are never going to be happy. You know, it, it's just the way it is. But but I think we're instilling some confidence that you're going to be taken care of, and we're not going to jump the gun into operations and and this that the other thing. I think w the biggest thing is try to instill confidence that we'll, you're going to be looked after. John, I think one or two more. Um, we know you know a, lot, a big thing moving. Quarter of these final 15 games will be teaching and development, but a big part of development, I think, is winning a game from time to time, too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't think I, <laughs> no. Yeah, no. Yeah. How, yeah. how important would getting well, a couple wins here so these guys are believing? Yeah, in just, just for their sanity. Because, see, I don't think we've played poorly. I, 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 we've played well enough to lose games. And 
our schedule, the last four games, I think we've hung in there and three out of those four games, I think we've done some really good things, but we find we just don't win. Um, th there's no, <laughs> I, 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 we're going about our coaching as we always do, and I think the players have played hard. But uh, you know, the last game we score three goals, right? We take a gloving the puck in the neutral zone, putting it and grabbing it as a penalty. We take too many men on the ice. And it hurts us. It comes back and hurts us because we crawl back into it. We still don't win. So we, we've got to try to get everything in order, our discipline, and continue to work hard and try to find a way to win. So there's, uh, when you're developing people and, and, you, and you're trying to uh, find a way to teach them how to be pros, winning is important. That, that's why they put the uniform on. So it's been, it's been very frustrating for everybody.